the training they get really doesn't equip them to face the challenges that they are confronted with in the north where Islam is so dominant, tribalism is so dominant, and there's a, a lot of pressure on Christians to have a facade of unity in the face of a dominant Islam and also a dominant tribalism. It's so vital that we recruiting and training up local Christians be trained as leaders in the north. So we need like an MTS ministry training strategy. People are very much attracted to the apostles and prophets who come down from Ethiopia. They come with a special anointing, a special prophetic power from God to predict the future, to have power over the demonic, power to bring blessing and healing. And it undermines people's trust in the finished work of Christ. This prosperity gospel, it seems to be all pervasive, a bit like the bushfire smoke we had in, in the summer. You know, you are a, ch a child of God and you have the right to speak into existence the blessings of God. And again, you need to be working together to really identify false misleading teaching and how we can armour our people against it. Local pastors and evangelists are working hard. They just don't have the resources. We're trying to develop training manuals, not just in teaching people, but to able to build people's capacity to go and train others who in turn can train others to be effective gospel workers. So we handle the scripture correctly. We can teach the story of God's salvation from Genesis right through to Revelation. So we want to partner with Anglican Aid, with CMS, to be recruiting local people, be training them up in the North for ministry in the North. And I just love your partnership with us in that.